Okay, this is like a legitimately funny moment from Joker, but it doesn't deserve so many Oscar nominations. I mean, seriously, best picture for this. 11 Oscar noms and Avengers Endgame only got like two. Seriously. I just... Ugh. The Academy, you don't know what you're doing. Awards are meaningless. We're all going to die one day. I'll say this, though, about Joker. This scene here, when he, spoiler alert, kills Murray Franklin on live TV, this was probably the most tense scene in the entire film. I think Todd Phillips did a great job at racking up the tension here. Uh, but, you know, the movie is just, it's fine. It's fine. I will never stop saying that. It is a fine movie. It is not great. Uh, and I'm editing the vlog as we speak. Wow, it's Inception. I got another one. There it is. Okay, there it is out of the bubble wrap so you can actually see it better. But as you can see, it is the Clone Trooper Captain Black Series figure. Oh, man. I'm in love. Is it just a simple repaint of the original Phase 2 armored Clone Trooper? Yeah, but do I need it to complete my Black Series Clone Trooper collection? Yeah. Uh, I just spent the last like half hour um, updating the document that I keep. I keep a document of every single film review that I've ever written in my life uh, because I post them on both my Instagram and my Facebook because Instagram is just a better way to post reviews and I've done that for years and I started posting them on Facebook last year because not everyone who has Facebook follows me on Instagram which Instagram gets the reviews before Facebook does I just recently posted the last three reviews for the sequel trilogy of Star Wars uh, that I should have posted last month, but I didn't because I forgot. I don't think I've ever revealed my Instagram here. It's not hard to find. Uh, it's just my name. See it right there, at Garrett Searles. I think I was just afraid to like show and reveal what my Instagram was because for the longest time I was like, oh, I need to keep my, 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 my private life and social media life separate. But I'm in control of what I post on my Instagram and what I post on my YouTube channel so I can keep the things private and whatnot. So there's nothing on my Instagram I post that's like bad or anything. I mean, some people might think my reviews aren't that good. I, for one, think they are good. And just to prove to you that there is a document that exists, it currently sits at 136 pages and over 85,000 words. This one is my review for... The Rise of Skywalker. That's the most recent one I have posted because I have not seen anything in 2019 yet as of the recording of this video, as it is currently January 16th. But I am going to go see Doolittle this weekend because Hope wants to see it, and when you have a girlfriend, you make sacrifices, even though I think the movie looks like garbage. It's probably going to be garbage, but it'll make for a fun review. So as you can probably tell, I have removed my bulls ticket from the wall and I've now added two, well I guess three figures. I don't remember if I showed this one being hung up in previous footage of this vlog, but now I've got all three of my figures that I recently picked up from Half Price Books hanging on the wall. This is my three and three quarter inch carded collection currently, a uh, mint on card, all three, or all six of these I should say. So yeah, this is this is really cool. I like this setup. Sucks that the uh, tripod has to sit in front of it, but there's really nowhere else for this thing to go. Is it in your backpack? I'll check there. Um, the pins to your seat? Nope. Mm -hmm. What about? Okay. He says, it's so flush a bunch of liquid because you can blame everything on it. He's a victim. Get some pale or Gene voted for me to eat up my own butt. <laughs> wow, you guys are really giving it to old Gene. <laughs> All right, I like your candidates. Oh, I'm Gene. Yeah, because Gene deserves that because he's a terrible person. He does. Let's see where everyone's... All right, so it's been, what, like a week or so since I last recorded for this long vlog? To be honest, I kind of forgot I was doing this. <laughs> but here I am, hello. And I just, re I, I just finished recording a HMR, 
Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it's on yet, just in case this vlog comes out before this HMR comes out. I don't want to spoil anything for you. Had the shortest history section ever, I think. This particular release only was put out like three or four times, so that's kind of surprising. But I'm having a bit of a conundrum here. I This is episode five I just recorded, so I could record episode six coming up here uh, soon. Like, I could record it right now, because I've I've seen the film. I really don't need any more preparation for it. I could do it. The problem is I might die halfway through it, because the last recording went for about half half an hour. This one will probably go for longer than that, so I'm having an epiphany. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to do it, though. So despite what I said in the Doolittle vlog, I'm going to see Bad Boys for Life, and I'm not excited. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little excited. The reviews I watched from both Chris Stuckman and John Flickinger both said it was fine. Uh, I don't really remember what John said. I remember what Chris said, though. Chris said it was fine, so... Uh, yeah, I guess that's good. I don't know, man. I don't like the Bad Boys 1 and 2. The Bad Boys. Um, I like the original. The original one's fine. 2 is legitimately one of the worst films I've ever seen in my entire career as a movie watcher. It was just abysmal. Uh, just, just please be good. Please be good. At this point, I've seen two films this year. Doolittle and Bad Boys for Life, so... Please be good. Please be please be at least better than Birds of Prey. Okay, that comes out in a couple weeks. I'm not excited for Birds of Prey. If I could fast forward to April with James Bond's No Time to Die, I would. Last year's best, this year's faves. I really don't think I really don't think Hellboy was one of last year's best. That's all I'm saying. This right here. If you're a YouTuber, you understand that this is what you strive for. Every time you're in the middle of editing a video, you just have to remember that once you get to here, all you have to do is sit back and watch. Unless your editing software is like mine and it's a piece of junk and it could mess up the render. Which has happened before and uh, it's made me want to commit suicide. I realized the other day I haven't really done a lot of work on this vlog for the last couple of days. Kobe Bryant died just a few days ago when this is being recorded. The news broke on Sunday. I didn't do, I don't think I did any segments on Sunday for this. Uh, I was never a huge basketball fan, despite the U of L merch on the wall over there. I was more college, really. Uh, and I kind of dropped off the train of sports in 2013 after U of L won the national championship. Kobe was always a name that, you know, was synonymous with sports. Everybody knew who he was, everyone knew how talented he was, and you know, even if you weren't a sports fan like me, you knew who he was, and you knew just how talented he was in the in the art of basketball, and, and you know, you knew how good of a person he was. He, he truly did not deserve to go that early. I mean, only 44, especially having his daughter with him, really disheartening to hear on a Sunday, and you know, this vlog is going to come out months after it's happened it's going to take the family a long time to get over something like this and to move past it so my heart goes out to you all affected by this death uh, both the bryant family and the fans the the fans are affected by this as well i have been praying i will continue to pray about this and uh it uh it just really sucks man that's really all i can say is this is like a snapshot in time right now because this vlog is probably coming out in either April or May. I just woke up probably 20 minutes ago, and I've been watching videos on YouTube that are two completely different subjects from each other. What is up with my lens? Hang on. The one, they're both about real estate, and one of them is luxury real estate. I've been watching channels like Architectural Design, Eric Conover, take you on tours of these like million dollar mansion thinking to myself while I'm watching these videos if I ever had that much money would I really want a mega mansion where I'd have to walk a mile just to get across the house I, I, I don't know I say that as a man who doesn't have a hundred and fifteen million dollars to spend on a house but the other side of that is I've been watching videos about tiny houses Houses that are built on these like trailers that you can move and I just I'm fascinated by them Not because I want to live in them. I'm fascinated by the fact that people build these things and people live in them 
and that they're, you know, livable spaces. I'm like, what? You actually built a house on a trailer and it works? It You don't hate it? I would. Howdy friends that are watching the vlog right now. I am currently leaving a used toy store place. I really don't know what to call it. A vintage toy store place? It's really kind of all the above. It's one of those like swap shop. Um, it's local around here. A guy runs it around here. I don't know him or anything like that. But his store is on the way home from work and I decided to stop in there. It had been a while since I'd been in there. Uh, he's got some cool stuff. He has a lot of, uh, the place has a lot of vintage uh, Star Wars figures from like Power of the Force 2 line, the episode 2 Attack of the Clones line. Uh, some vintage stuff, nothing that really caught my eye. There was some Black Series stuff, which if you know me, uh, the 6 inch Black Series line is where I live. It is my favorite. And uh, he had a lot of that stuff, Marvel Legends, not any that are particularly interesting to me. So I left empty handed, which is kind of unfortunate because I was kind of hoping, had a little bit of hope in me, that I would have found a Commander Cody Black Series figure. Which, if you don't know, Commander Cody is extraordinarily expensive on the secondary market right now. He goes for probably $80, 90 to $100. Uh, and it sucks because I really need one to complete my clone collection of Star Wars Black Series. I have every other clone except for him and Bly, who hasn't come out yet. Remember I said earlier in this vlog, a couple clips ago, that there was a lieutenant? clone trooper yeah that doesn't exist I did a little bit more research that doesn't exist Hasbro never made that uh, except in the three and three quarter inch vintage line so I was like well I guess all I need now is Cody and Bly and Bly doesn't come out until spring and I really need a Cody if anyone out there has a black series commander Cody six inch figure that you don't want it doesn't even have to have the box you know I'm I'm literally that desperate I would prefer if it had the box but it doesn't even have to have the box. If, if you just don't want it, I will gladly take it and gladly pay you a small fee for it. I'll pay shipping. Yeah, I'll pay shipping. But I won't pay what they're asking for on eBay. I will not do that. All right, real talk, people. The Walmart popcorn chicken is some of the best chicken you can ever get in your entire life. I mean, I'm not even exaggerating here. You'd think chicken from Walmart would cause, like, instant death. But this chicken doesn't. Don't mess out on this, people. If you have a Walmart near you, which is basically saying, you have a Walmart near you, it's great. Pick it up. And I got some mellow yellow. It kind of tastes like knockoff uh, Mountain Dew, but uh, I like it. Speaking of people that I know of that like this chicken. She loves the stuff. Welcome back to a new installment of Quick Unboxing where we unbox things that are quick and also tax documents that you don't need to see. There we go. Arrow, complete seventh season. Sealed as well, because I want the digital download copy code. So, yeah, I'm happy. I don't hear anything broken inside of it, so that's good. The last few times I've got Arrow seasons shipped to me, uh, the discs have either come out of the little trays that hold them or like the arms are broken. I think my season five set I bought brand new at the store had like a broken case on it. So I've had bad luck when it comes to arrow seasons, but this one, it looks to be in pretty good shape. All right, there it is out of the cellophane. I will say that I'm glad that the season sets are now including all the crossover episodes on them. The last few Arrow season sets have not included all the crossovers, so when you actually watch the season in full, it doesn't make any sense because you don't have the entire crossover. So that's good that they're including that here. Uh, the, 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 the Christian church has ever had, right? I mean, think about some of the horrible situations Paul found himself in. I mean, life wasn't easy for him. The enemy tried to knock him out of the game. Paul writes his letter to the Philippians from jail. Now, you think about a fourth and goal situation. He's sitting in jail. I mean, God, I'm in jail. I mean, what is this going to do to my resume, right? Well, will I ever get out? What if I die in here? It's fourth and goal. And in that fourth and goal moment, Paul could back off and settle for three. He could kick a field goal. 
He could probably say, you know what? I need to sort of reflect on my life a little bit. Maybe I need to dial back this preaching thing that I'm doing. Maybe I just need to compromise my convictions a little bit. Maybe I just need to start playing it a little safer. Well, I want you to listen to a few lines from the letter to the Philippians. And you tell me what Paul's going to do when it's fourth and go. Look at Philippians chapter 3. One thing I do, forgetting what is behind, straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. So last night was the Super Bowl. Uh, the Chiefs won. I was rooting for the Chiefs, actually. I don't care about sports really that much. The only football games I really watch every year is the Super Bowl, so I was rooting for the Chiefs, man, because my buddy, I was at this Super Bowl party last night, didn't vlog any of it because, I don't know, just felt like it'd be rude to pull out a camera in the middle of having a good time, but my buddy was like, yo, I'm rooting for the Chiefs because their color scheme is cooler than the 49ers, and I was like, yeah, that's kind of true, because if you look at the 49ers uniforms, it looks like a bunch of... Diet Coke, caffeine-free cans are just running around on the on the field. I mean, th look at this comparison. I mean, is, does that not look weird to you all? So I just got home from work, and I've got two packages here. And I figured, why not? Let's open them, because fun, right? I don't know what that's from. But you can tell this comes from Kokomo Toys, which is a toy store in Indiana that I've never been to, but it's not too far away from where I live, actually. I buy a lot of uh, stuff from them off of eBay. And our product is this guy, one of the greatest presidents to ever exist. I'm sure I'm triggering all the leftists out there. Oh, he bought a Republican president. How dare he, even though he brought forth one of the greatest economic... Uh, resurgences in the last 50 years and also completely annihilated the Soviet Union by just staring them in the face. I love Ronnie Reagan, man. He's so great. This package is the more interesting one of the two. I knew this was coming. I also knew this was coming today, but this contains a more valuable item. I love how I'm just throwing these around like I have no regard for either of them. But here we go, okay? Now I want you guys to just prepare yourselves here because this is a pretty a pretty rare piece. As you can see, it is a green carded Power of the Force line, Princess Leia as Jabba's prisoner, but it's signed by Carrie Fisher. Now the seller did specify that this signature has never been professionally verified. Through all the photos that the seller vetted on the internet and all the photos that I have looked at, it looks pretty legit, quite honest. If it's a fake, it's a pretty damn good fake. And honestly, I didn't pay much for this figure. It, so if it is fake, then oh well. If it's not, then that's pretty friggin' awesome. And I got it for as cheap as I did. Plus, I just like mint carded figures, you know. I'm sure this triggers Disney as well because it's uh, it's the Slave Leia outfit. So, you know, Disney doesn't like Slave Leia. So, Disney, I've got... A figure from the, from a line that you didn't have any part in, but it's also signed by the actress, hopefully. I'm going to get a protective case for this because I don't want the signature to rub off or anything. You can tell it's kind of a couple of places. It's kind of been rubbed. So the Iowa caucuses were today. <laughs> Just when you think the Democratic Party can't screw the pooch anymore, they surprise you. They surprise you because these caucuses turn out to be a complete cluster. I mean, it was absolutely insane. Hi there. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want, buddy? Huh? He's mad. Because I won't feed him. Because it's too early for that, Mac. It's too early. You can't be fed right now. Too early. He's like, I don't give a crap, dude. I'm starving. <laughs> Rosie, I don't think could care less. Come here, Rosie. Hi. Hi. See, why are you seeing that dumb dog? See me. Hello, sweet girl. 
So my internet is currently being dumb and garbage and not letting any of my phones connect to it. So I decided this would be a good time to go ahead and frame these art prints I have here and hang, up, hang them up on the wall there. And they look really nice. Uh, it's the Batman and the Flash. Uh, this one's actually titled Scarlet Speedster. And that's titled Darkness. I got these through the BAM box. They were previously just hung up there with tape. They all come in these clear uh, plastic cases here with a certificate of authenticity for each of them that names what the piece is called not throwing those out or anything there I've got my Kylo Ren versus Dark Ray hung up over there those two are my next project uh, Dark Phoenix and Thanos and I think I'm gonna be done with the hanging for today uh, I've got those posters down there I still need to hang at some point in my life which, which I'll get around to but I also wanted to show you these I got some protectors in from eBay today and as you can see I've got my signed Leia figure inside of one they're a little bit fat sort of but they fit the episode 2 bubbles well they fit uh, vintage figures here with my 41st Elite Core clone trooper alright so after some trial and error they're all hung. Look at that, huh? Don't those look nice? You've got the Dark Phoenix here, Thanos, the Dispute, or Kylo Ren versus Dark Ray. I wanted those to be even, but they're not. There's about an inch difference between the two, but that's okay. Those came out pretty good, though, next to the cartoon head of me. And I know I said after I was done with those that I would be done with hanging stuff, but I kind of lied. I got a little bit carried away. I bought this poster for my IMAX Iron Man 3. I bought the frame for it, not the poster. I bought the poster, but I bought the frame for it the other day. Framed it, and uh, it looks real good. It doesn't sit on the wall completely, but that's because it's cheap. But who's going to look for that? Uh, so I'm thinking I've got a couple IMAX posters that can go above this display here. I've got a kind of rare Avengers poster that's probably going to go there. Uh, this is the hallway in my house, by the way, for the upstairs. Mom basically said, yeah, you can you can hang your posters up here because I don't have enough room in there. The first big snow of the year, and it's only February, and Rosie's not having any of it. So in the footage you're seeing now, uh, you can see what I was doing earlier tonight. I was running sound tonight for a elementary school dance, and I kind of need to explain why I do that because that sounds weird. Like, dude, you're 20, why are you running sound for an elementary school dance? Well, for one, I went to the elementary school where this dance takes place. Two, my mom, me, and a few other people are good friends with the teacher that runs the dance. He's a great guy, loves doing this dance every year. He does it every year for Valentine's Day. Or no, it's a mother-son, father-daughter Valentine's dance. Organizes it every year and recruits people like me and my mom and a couple of uh, her other friends, teachers, and all these people to just come in and make this dance a cool reality, and I love running sound for it every year. Done it for the last six, seven years, I think, and uh, yeah, I'm good at DJing, I guess, because, you know, I run sound professionally, little air quotes there, at church, and I know a lot about it, and uh, the setup I was working with tonight is not professional in the slightest. It was literally just pushing play and dealing with volume, but you know what? Some people just can't do that as well as me. They just can't. Also, did you see the refresh rate on that laptop? <laughs> that HP Pavilion it was probably from like 2010 or 2011. Still runs Windows 8. I need to let this guy let me use my computer, my Asus, from like 2018 because, man, I could get so much power out of that thing compared to that HP Pavilion. Some backstory before I actually begin this clip, okay? My brother's birthday is tomorrow, February 9th, and he has been complaining about not having his own Wii recently because the Wii that we had as kids is currently located in here. That is our childhood Wii. And I don't know how it wound up in my room. It just wound up in there for some odd reason. And uh, I want to keep it in there. So he's been complaining recently that he got the Wii or that I got the Wii in my room. So for his birthday, I bought him a Wii. <laughs> and it's... It's a pretty good one too. I mean, it's the it's the black Wii, as you can see. It's in almost perfect condition. I mean, the seller that sold me this barely touched it at all. I mean, I can tell it's in perfect condition. And hard drive has been freshly wiped. Yeah, I set it up in here. 
Um, I'm supposed to meet him and my parents and my grandparents at a restaurant to eat for his birthday. Today's not actually his birthday. It's February 8th, but we're celebrating his birthday today. So uh, when he gets home, uh, he'll see his Wii set up. And I got him a couple games, as you can see here. Um, Animal Crossing City Folk, he is like the biggest Animal Crossing fan out there. So Animal Crossing City Folk and Super Mario Galaxy, uh, a game that he has mentioned several times that he wants to play again. So I got him his own copies of it. There they are. So if this doesn't make me the greatest brother in history, I don't know what will. Also, black controller and and black nunchuck, both in perfect condition. I almost wish I could give him the childhood Wii and keep this Wii for myself, but no, that'd be rude. Uh, I bought it specifically for him. So happy birthday, bro. Welcome back. It's been real. So like, basically, I've just been taking a little personal break. I haven't really been like uh, myself. I just, uh, you know, I can't, I, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what to film because I, I watch every movie and I hate every movie and I just I don't know what to do. I this uh, this channel is going downhill and I'm real I don't know what to do. See I'm crying. You see that? You can't see it, but I am. And and this is really emotional, guys. I just went through a bounce. I just started being very active on my channel. <laughs> That's a great impression of a YouTuber apology <laughs> video. I'm sorry, but it's not my fault. Like, I'm sorry, but it's... I'm, I'm not taking blame for it, but I am sorry. She's no longer allowed to record videos. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I thought was going to happen when I said, Hey, let's go see Birds of Prey together. And apparently you're like that. Guys, I... I... <laughs> I have to tell you about my new relationship. Okay, this is Roderick, and <laughs> you might have, you might know him from the hit film Roderick Rules. Um, we're just very much in love, and we are in fact engaged. So, if you are curious about wedding details, um, just um, hit me up through my PO box. So I did see Birds of Prey tonight. It was fine. Honestly, there hasn't been a lot that's blown me away this year. I've only seen three films. and uh, But I can definitely say that this has the best performances uh, by both Margot Robbie and Ewan McGregor. It's, uh, it's definitely better than Doolittle. And yeah, I think it's better than Bad Boys for Life, honestly. I need to think about it just a little bit more. But suffice it to say, I thought it was fine. It's, uh, it's not great or anything. I still think Shazam is DC's best film so far that they've made in their cinematic universe. Uh, I ran sound today for church. That was good. Uh, met our new worship minister, actually. I, I think I talked about this a while back, you know, a few days ago, but we got a new worship minister at church. Uh, he's a good guy, a little bit of a younger guy. He's about three years older than me. Uh, I'm 20 for reference sake, so he's 23. I didn't really do much else today. I went to Walmart and uh, I was going to buy milk, but I ended up not buying milk. I have no idea why. I just didn't end up doing that. <laughs> um, I saw, though, that uh, Walmart has some 4K titles on sale, uh, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Hellboy 2019 is on sale for $13 on 4K. Uh, don't buy it though because it's terrible, but they also had um, They restocked that IMAX Movie that's like I think it's called Space Station. It's narrated by Tom Cruise I had it in my cart for about five minutes then I realized I don't really need this and I put it back I kind of want it. I don't know why I feel like it would be a nice tech demo because it's 4k It's IMAX enhanced so it's probably going to look mind-blowing. And, you know, I don't really have a lot of reference material in my collection. So, I don't know. That might be a future purchase. I'm at Best Buy currently. Came to pick up this. Never saw it in theaters because Hope refused to see it with me. So, I missed out on it. But, finally going to check it out. I've heard it's really good. The thing I've found here is that the... 
Cars 4K Steelbook as well as Cars 2 are on sale right now. So, if you have a Best Buy in your area, I highly recommend getting these. I should pick up the Cars 2 one to match the first Cars, but I, I don't... Eh, 20, maybe 15, but 20, I don't know. They've also got Doctor Strange down here. One steel book left. The rest of them are just commons. And then Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 3 are on sale for 15. I come over here. Thor is on sale for 20 and Thor the Dark World for 15. So if you missed out on those steel books, you could possibly pick yourself up a couple because they're a lot cheaper now than they were before. Uh, also, Guardians on 4K is cheaper as well. So as you can see, I've got a lot of collectibles and stuff pulled off my desk because I'm working on something big here, okay? So as you can see, I've got these pop sorters uh, underneath these rows of pops here. And uh, the reason I've got that there is because these Black Series figures, as much as I love them, they're so tall. They're about as tall as a pop box. And they covered up the pops I had displayed here. Let's see if I grab Fox here again and put him there. You see, he would he would cover Han Solo. And now that I've got those sorters there, check that out. You can still see the pops that was behind him, but now I've got sorters there, so that should fix that problem. So okay, I made some more improvements. Uh, this is really what I wanted to do: clean up all this junk that was back behind these pops here. You couldn't really see it because of the low lighting, but there was a ton of just crap stored up back there. And uh, it was like Lego vehicles, random stuff I made out of Legos. Uh, here's the paddy wagon with some monster truck wheels or something. Uh, this is from like a Man of Steel set. And hey, look, uh, Papa John's summer vacation discount card that probably isn't valid anymore, uh, but there's that. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to do that for a while so I could clean up back there and add six more boxed pops back there. Those are some of my favorites. These three came off of that display back there, so I decided uh, I didn't want to put them back in the vault just yet. I wanted to keep them out for a little while longer. And then these three have not been out of the vault for a while. You got Mr. Monopoly, Fugitive Toys exclusive, White Lantern, Batman, excuse me there, Luke. And then my glow-in-the-dark chase variant, Red Jafar, which is pretty awesome. So it's been a couple of months since I shot for this remake, but this is my Oliver Owens Up remake that I'm currently shooting for right now. I'm about, I don't know, a minute and a half into the remake, and uh, I'm going to try to get to two minutes today, and hopefully get most of the footage shot by the end of the week. So that'll be great. But I'm experimenting here. See, I use my this phone um, as a primary camera and you can see I've got this external lens on it because I picked up this there we go I picked up this really cool uh, lens set off of eBay it comes with like a, a macro lens a fisheye lens and this is a wide-angle lens so I'm gonna test it here um, with this shot that's over the head and you know it's it's supposed to be Thomas there, but I don't have my Thomas model out yet, but it's Thomas and he's puffing down the the um, the yard here and then it pans over to Oliver. I'm going to test that with a wide angle lens and just see how it looks. And honestly, from some of the test footage I've shot, it looks pretty daggone good. So I'm uh, not going to use the wide angle lens for everything, but I haven't had a chance to experiment with the fisheye lens or the macro lens yet, but hopefully uh, it was a worthy investment. I only paid like 10 bucks for this lens set, so it's pretty awesome. By the way, it's been a few days since I recorded uh, personal footage for this vlog. Uh, Friday night was Valentine's Day. It was fun. Me and Hope went to a fish place uh, and split a meal because that place has got awful expensive and the meals are so huge there. Uh, but it was really nice. Uh, you see a photo of us on the screen right now. We both looked great. Not gonna lie. She looked great. I looked great. It was an awesome night. Then Saturday, you guys saw the live stream we did together. Uh, we did February's live stream, and uh, we went and saw Sonic that night, and Sonic's really good. You guys probably saw that vlog go live um, a few weeks ago from when this is being recorded. I think it went live like the last week of February, so yeah, I've had a pretty good weekend. 
Wow, another ending of another video. My beard is thicker and it is no longer February. It's actually April. Uh, yeah, it's another 35 minute video. They're probably longer than that. This vlog is going to have a part 3 to it. That's, that's cool, I guess. But I'm going to end this video off here. I'll see you guys in part 3. I swear that will probably be the final part of this whole series. It's been... I, I recorded way too much for this and I just didn't want to cut anything. So with all that being said, thank you for watching part two. I'll see you in part three. Good night, everybody.